uh, talk at Open Source Summit Latin America 2022 in Cloud Open. In this talk, we will be more on talking about the chaos experiment and how to create chaos experiment using the Litmus HDK. Let's have a short intro about me. I'm software engineer at JFrog. I'm certified Kubernetes administrator as well. I'm core contributor and member of CNSF incubating project, uh, Litmus Chaos, and maintainer, uh, maintainer of the Litmus HDK uh, Python part. I'm also an uh, international rated chess player. So let's talk about our today's talk now. Uh, we'll be more discussing about the chaos engineering so any idea what is the chaos engineering and what is exactly it is okay so chaos engineering uh let's take one short example okay so in day-to-day -day life you have uh, you have faced some issues your website is down it is taking some time to get open it suddenly it get crashed some of like big organizations also you we can see many news also there is a downfall server down and many other things happens so why it happens exactly there must be something happened something goes down so it affected the application and at the end application also goes down so that misbehave that downfall something wrong happened so that's the place where chaos engineering works so chaos engineering is more on we create a, a atmosphere where we inject the chaos and we actually see how the application is behaving Let's take a short example that we have some 10 microservices running inside our uh, our application is running with multiple microservices like example 10. One of microservices goes down. Do we know that how it will others will work on behalf of that microservices? No, we might not. So we only see most of like we mainly target that we just see our containers are in healthy state, ports are in running and that's all. But it's not something that's all we have to there might be many possible ways where application can misbehave if some of service misbehaves like so let's talk more on the tool uh, which is litmus chaos tool so litmus is an open source csf incubating project and <clears throat> which is basically uh, it's where how the infrastructure for the out uh, outages and they have like litmus cross have the more than 50 experiments where we inject where the disturbance can be made with the different different type of experiments like just take, take example of the memory hogging, CPU hogging, network loss, disk spill and many other things. So let's focus on the chaos experiment thing. So chaos experiment is a particularly applicable to distributed computer environments with the large distributed systems. The component often have complex and unpredictable dependencies and it is difficult to troubleshoot the error or predict when an error will occur. So more on using we are going to create like experiment what why we want that experiment then to make a disturbance make a something make, let's make, let's break something and let's see how the application behaves there where like the chaos experiment plays a role so this uh, where we encounter actual the error and we see how the applications behaves and we just turbulence the conditions in distributed distributed systems to test the systems resiliency Let's talk about the Litmus HDK now. Uh, Litmus provides the HDK, which is the abstracted way of like writing experiment where we provide some flow of writing experiment with the checks, pre and post chaos checks, and also get the library packages and many more by defaultly generated where we can actually write our logic and it we can write very similar, very seamlessly. We can write and we can actually test it uh, in and we can actually write and learn more about the chaos experiment like through that HDK and we can update, uh, we can overwrite whatever the logic wanted to, we can write that logic, we can test it, we can create chaos, we can inject chaos, we can see how the turbulence occurred and how the application is behaving using Litmus HDK. Mm, let's, uh, Litmus HDK provides uh, get like in three different languages, one is the Go, Python and Ansible. Uh, in so today's talk, we will be morely talking about the Litmus Python SDK. Uh, Litmus started supports the Litmus Python SDK from 0.0. Now we will follow. There are a number of steps which we have to follow for our getting generated our stuff, abstracted stuff, 
and we will uh, we will just discuss about the how to generate it and what what are the components which component is where it is used that way we will move on and we will build it and we will test it locally and we will also run experiment using the kiosk center which is the litmus kiosk portal okay so let's move now let's uh, take a look against the github repositories also so this is the litmus kiosk project <coughs> litmus repo where this is the kiosk center uh, to install the kiosk and the kiosk center is the provides the user facing interface as well like where we can actually run our experiments and we can see our uh, dashboard uh, matrix and so many just, uh, things they are already there we can have the teams and lot of things just explore this so i have already installed this uh, litmus kiosk the cluster scope uh, there is only another thing is the namespace scope also supported uh, this is the litmus python where uh, morely uh, python based experiments are located here there are already two experiments are there inside experiment one is the aws and one is the generic pod delete uh, one can take reference from both the experiments while writing the experiment and exp uh, sdk parts get covered into the contribute developer guide so there are the step by steps uh, all stuff has already given one can follow to get generated and get tested that locally also there is one more way to test it like uh, uh, there is a small blog written by me uh, where we have we can follow the steps and we can get at, at the point where we can get all stuff generated and where we can write our logics and we can build it we can test it that all stuff has been mentioned here this is the locally suppose uh, someone don't want so don't have python locally installed they just want some container to get environment of python environment and they want to test there they can use follow the documentation if someone is uh, interested in pylo installing locally python every stuff is there they can just create python environments locally and they they can test it uh, we will follow this uh, this flow in today's uh, talk let's uh, let's move it to hdk part this contribute a guide and developer guide this is the hdk components come where it's uh, generates files let's generate it we will take that so before generating we this is a main file uh, where we how we have to first update our stuff this this stuff will get reflected throughout the uh, experiment project what what all stuff will get generated that that will come from here it might be a charts it might be a python code main experiment file library file packages that all stuff will get generated from here so this is the attribute uh, uh, .yml is the more on like the metadata aspects of our kiosk experiment where we have to give the name of experiment category of the experiment version repository where we wherever we keep community description keywords platforms it, it can both namespace scope and cluster scope so we can provide scope auxiliary checks permissions for what all permission required for this experiment maturity level maintenance list uh, provider name and references and many more they can like we can provide so this is a uh, developer let's move to that repo directory so we can like we can there are two flags which is provided there is one file attribute ex generate experiment dot py which uh, which takes actually uh, three parameters of uh, two one is the attribute file annotator two other things for generating the charts or experiments or like experiments or charts mm, where minus g is provides for the experiment and chart where the experiment creates the cr based uh, manifest and charts creates the other manifest which is like chart service version dot ml and all also there is a minus t flag which is by default all but we can provide the category only the category based charts will get generated experiment if the only experiment based manifest will get generated so we will follow both one by one experiment and chart since we require both
see we can see that it has shown it has created now let's take a look what all files got created within these two commands so yeah so we can see this uh, one is the package thing, one is the experiment thing, and one is the secure sleep. Three main things which got generated throughout our commands. So what all these things are? Like uh, let's take example. First thing is in experiment. An experiment uh, we uh, we got that sample category. This name is reflected from our developer. Uh, this attribute file which is located in the developer uh, contribute developer guide. From there, these names and all got created. It got like it has taken. So let's take go to sample execute chaos where we got three file generated chart experiment uh, experiment and test so someone using that uh, octa environment to test on they can use this testing if you are using just uh, testing locally using some python environment then this is not required uh, experiment file which is the actual main dot actual uh, experiment file actual flow of the experiment what all is uh, common for all chaos experiment that is given here we can directly use this flow where we have pre-flight check or sorry pre-check and post checks where before experiment and above after experiment we just check that the application is targeted application is healthy and up and we prepare kiosk this is the actual function where we inject the kiosk this is the pre before a kiosk injection stuff and this is a kiosk during kiosk uh, and this is after kiosk injection stuff all the events all result everything get updated like this is the main file and second file which we get uh, which we get is the library file kiosk lib it's lib litmus where we get same name flow where we have to write our actual kiosk experiment logic by default cpu hogging logic uh, logic comes the same follow we have to follow and we have to write our injection logic just take example like logic one can do the network loss so network loss logic has to be written here one has to do the pod delete then pod delete logic has to be written in this file if there is a dx field then dx field logic has to be written or any kubernetes or non kubernetes based experiment is there then that has to be written here all required stuff and uh, next thing is come what during this writing like uh, for this our experiment what all environments required for example suppose we have memory hogging that which application has to be targeted applications namespace label kind kiosk interval and many other environments uh, is there these are based on for this experiment suppose someone has to be write some specific experiment uh, some xyz for that xyz experiment what all environments we have to pass from our crs which is the kiosk engine kiosk experiment kiosk results crs are there kiosk engineering uh, kiosk engine and kiosk experiment crs result is some cr where we can see our all kiosk experiment details after the injection residency score and all and this is chaos engine and chaos experiments here where we can where we have these are the main crs where user 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 facing crs are the those uh, sample crs like let's have a look this in the chart we get couple of uh, manifest got generated which is the chaos engine so this is the chaos engine cr uh, which holds the environments experiment environments for that environment specs and all name uh, some others uh, property job cleanup policy and also uh, details if it is namespace then we can have this happen if it is cluster scope then no use of this this is the experiment CR which holds the permission and some other metadata specs and ENVs as well including the image and command which you have to run and icon and all for experiment so these are the things which we get and next thing is the uh, now once we are done with this now next thing is to test it so at this stage we have generated our default sdk stuff after that we have lib, lib folder where we can actually write our chaos experiment logic once we are ready with this we have to test it and we have to uh, test it locally and using chaos center as well once we are done with that we can raise pr and we can actually see our stuff in chaos hub so let's let's test it uh, so one thing to uh, get that before we test that we have to update our uh, couple of stuff here 
the main file is in bin experiment not experiment this is the place where we get call our experiments where we have i already added couple of stuff here like it's to save our time to uh, we need to import our that experiment sample category sample uh, execution cause experiment that we have to call that we else if condition needs to get added that is everything is mentioned in block if we follow that block see every import thing else if condition and next thing we have to add this all directories for which are for our chaos experiment inside the setup where we where we initialize our setup like repo setup okay so once we are this done now let's now uh, <coughs> let's create a python environment i believe i already have we can create okay so we are in the <coughs> environment requirements our requirements and all packages now one thing to get rem rem get to know that like whatever changes we do in this our changes to before we run now like our uh, python main dot main uh, file we have to run one more command which is the setup.py command install where we what are the all stuff is required for this uh, required packages and uh, other requirements uh, repo setup project setup and all that stuff is there so we need to install this once to get our stuff done now once uh, we are once we do that we can now actually run our uh, commands before we do that let's create a dummy uh, let's create a deployment which is already exist which is an nginx is already running uh, let's see the labels see we can see the labels and it is in default namespace now we have to since we have to inject the kios against uh, what we we install this application nginx application we will inject the kios against this and we will see actually the behavior so for behavior and all we can uh, have the set of the prometheus for example for some application we can have grafana dashboard or some litmus cross cross center dashboard some many stuff here many more like to analyze our downfalls and all that stuff we can get but this uh, talk is more on focus on creating this cross experiment and testing it so we'll focus we'll let's discuss more on this now so environment we have to update our app namespace default uh, app level is uh, this thing app kind deployments now once we are doing this uh, we can set up our chaos interval and chaos total give duration here one thing to remind that there are two so two things to be able to give support one is the parallel and one is the sequential in parallel we can target all uh, application if suppose application app level and there is a default and uh, app namespace app namespace is default and, uh, de uh, default and kind is uh, deployments so that there are 10 pods which is matching these three things then if we give the pod, uh, pod affected percentage and this type of uh, environments where if there is a hundred percent it will take uh, all pods and if, if it is a 50 percent will target 50 pods so we can have we can use the parallel and sequential stuff on with that so if we give the parallel, whatever the targeted application is there, it will take all targeted application and inject cost once. If it is a sequential, it will inject one application in one pod. It uh, once we injected, it, it will wait to complete the injection. The time cost time cost uh, interval will be the in injection time. After the cost interval, it will again inject. It will again inject. It will again inject. One by one application, it will keep on inj injecting randomly. And if it is parallel, it will inject uh, together with all the uh, target application ports 
that both support uh, support uh, both according to litmus cross experiments it both support should be given based on requirement now let's test it now we have already updated now add the command which we have to run now let's uh, this thing uh, here also one thing to observe now if there is any ca command we have to run in some container in litmus python these processes are running uh, multi thread multi are running as a background process to we have to use the and operator to cross inject cross uh, command and get out to another thread so for that we need to add an operator for an injection command if is there any command in your experiment if not then it is fine now the next thing is that once we are done this then we can test it locally our we know that uh, in bin we have an experiment experiment dot py so now we can pass our name as kios and we can wait now unable to get target container name uh, it is it is waiting for the target container now let's see Okay, so as I said just some time back, uh, whatever we do change, we have to run one command install. So once we've done this, now new things has been taken. Now we can see that it is started injecting the kiosk. Now the total uh, waiting time is 30 seconds and we have this kiosk interval time and as well as to cure duration time is same. So it will last for the 30 seconds and after that it will revert back the kiosk thing. So we can see that our logs also we have verified that application is healthy before uh, injecting the cross it's running and healthy it containers are also healthy and readiness is true. We, we will see in 30 seconds that if after the cross injection also application is open healthy and everything is done. Okay. We have verified the post cross application is running and healthy. So uh, successfully we have injected the cross we have created we got some default stuff from SDK we have to update that. We have to test in this manner and next thing is that we have to build a docker image and we have to follow the next steps now for the kiosk charts. Kiosk chart is a, this repo which is used to get reflect uh, kiosk experiments in hub. So whatever the experiments are here it, it is getting from the kiosk charts. So now we have to update the kiosk chart repo uh, in the format what we want. Now if you uh, we have recently created some of the charts from litmus python right. So now let's have observation against that. So here couple of things to get uh, aware now. Okay so if you observe carefully in that uh, kiosk experiment uh, we got uh, chart whole folder where we got many charts okay so now what we have to take these charts and create a folder and we have to arrange in a such manner that it follows the standard of litmus kiosk kiosk charts the first thing is that icon we have to just copy the icon here inside icon the uh, at the top main folder will be sample category what type of experiment is there that category should be here inside the charts which is the chart this chart like in the charts folder so in that chart we have to create a sample category whatever the name we have given for sample category and important note here is whatever we got in generated litmus python is with underscore like this sign below sign but here we have to use the minus sign hyphen in sample category we have to while copy pasting we have to update everywhere in here as well as in all manifest also if you carefully observe right side, I have already created to save the time. So let's move down. So I have whatever the engine and all places see this thing. I have updated this to manage that thing we have to do in Python. Folders can speak give any like minus and all sign you can add their hyphen. 
but for import it will throw error so we have followed the python standards to keep in this thing and for our standards we have to update that so in all files wherever that name is there sample category and sample ex kiosk experiment like this we have to update that in this way like we have to update this to do that is the uh, note please uh, it's a star now next thing is that in folders also we have to do that in left side this is the litmus python and right side is the kiosk chart repo github repo I have already cloned and open it and this is the names we have to update that now next thing is to first thing is the sample category we have to create a folder in that we have to put the icons and experiment.yaml sample category dot chart version chart service version yaml and sample category dot package dot yaml these three files should be there from left we can see there are files couple of package file category file uh, are already here and now next thing is that we have to create a folder with sample execution dot which is the experiment name there we have to put engine which is this one experiment file we have to move there and some uh, two minor modifications like here the modification that name we have to update uh, with uh, underscore two like uh, hyphen we have to update that and our back we need required there and one more is the sample execution kiosk dot uh, ml this file is required there so these things has to be get done this file is holding information about our experiment and next thing is to remember that in experiment dot ml we have to update our new docker image file to test it right so i have updated it to my kale ohm uh, slash pyrunner ci and i have updated that the kiosk experiment name also this this thing has to be taken care and we need to add our all required envs in this like whatever in, this is since we're more on default for kiosk memory uh, cpu hogging but uh, as per requirement we have to add our uh, envs and all here so once we are done with this modification uh, i will repeat once more first thing is that we have to create sample category in that sample category three things will come one is the icons one is the sample execution kiosk and one is the next thing is the manifest three this manifest and all every, everything is we get from litmus python while generating that we have to copy paste with two changes one is the folder uh, one is the file name folder name changes uh, underscore to mine a hyphen second is that we inside the files also we have to update names sample execution kiosk name and sample category these two names should be updated everywhere so if you see left side this is the name and right side this is the name with hyphen so that thing we have to do once we are done with that we have to push it to repo i already pushed it now next thing is that we since we already uh, installed the litmus kiosk center like i already show you that litmus repo where cluster scope and namespace scope is presented so already uh, installed that so this is this so here what we can do now we have to connect our hub so let me show you again by disconnecting uh, let me uh, show you this thing we have to connect it we can view that open now the github url is uh, let's uh, need to take mine uh, since we, i have pushed it to my repo i'm going to now we will give and the branch name is uh, open open source summit uh, sorry kiosk charts this kiosk chart means, uh, we have to copy this link and the branch is the open source uh, summit our uh, changes kiosk chart changes with the kiosk hub with kiosk center we will connect our uh, repo how to connect that let's take a look now uh, we have to give any name now we have to give the repo link where we have pushed our changes kiosk chart changes recently this is this and branch name wait for this to get connected now this is connected now let's go to the kiosk scenarios where we can actually schedule our kiosk this is the agent where uh, there are a couple of ways where we get like some we can see our hub uh, workflows default workflows we can add uh, we can use any existing template after running that we can save our templates also this is the kiosk hub we directly we can run from kiosk hub we can directly upload our workflow ml also uh, in now we will use for our hub to get connected and to run the experiment we can add our 
chaos experiment also and our name as the default name we have taken this all default name sample squish chaos and sample category we can update that in attribute ml only earlier time only so this is the experiment which we have created and that name also now we can edit the ml if something wanted to edit or something we wanted to uh, update that we can do that now we can see that i have like we have just used that uh, docker image and new and given the name chaos which we have recently given that and the another way is to do like directly binding we can next do we can update our uh, environments or chaos interval and all app name specific default app in labels and all whatever we are updated in that uh, manifest that will get reflected here and we can actually now schedule we can do the weightage there are ways like this schedule now recurrent ways for cron jobs and all supported now let's finish we have scheduled our experiment whatever we have created now let's see that <coughs> this is the argo workflow which is used now now let's have the look of let's have watch again this now so this is the workflow which is started now now the fire the first step is now creating installing the kiosk experiments that is getting done now it, it, since it was already there uh, it's showing the unchanged so the first step uh, after this uh, workflow started the first step is the first step is to install the kiosk experiment once it get done now the kiosk actual kiosk injection starts where the first thing which comes up is the kiosk runner which uh, takes the information from uh, crs and uh, launch when uh, experiment job to uh, get done and let's wait for now so we can see that uh, so runner has launched and once runner get launched if the it launches the actual job of the kiosk exp uh, kiosk experiment we can see our logs locally as well as well as from ui so this has started injecting the kiosk and we can see the logs in ui also we can see that kiosk experiments stuff and all now let's wait for some more time to get it updated uh, after this ex experiment get done results get updates you can see in our view tables also steps okay so locally we can see that it has injected the kiosk successfully and it's done now now let's for some couple of sec uh, more seconds to get that up reflected here so we can see now the injected has successfully injected all the stuff has been done now we can see the kiosk result as well where we can see our pass verdict completed phase our resiliency score and many other things which we can check here uh, probe success uh, percentage and all uh, pass run and all stuff uh, which we can get here and tables view also we can see if there is analytics connected we can see all that those things also so this is more on our the kiosk experiment we have created it we have locally tested we have tested using kiosk center and we got stuff uh, they, these are the references for our uh, repo like one is litmus kiosk one is litmus python kiosk chart and kiosk software once everything get done we can we have to raise the pr to kiosk charts once it get much with that experiment will get reflected in kiosk Hub. and feel free to contact me on the twitter linkedin github dev.2 i am omkare and thank you so much.